Hey everybody, Annie here. So this is my first time doing a speed draw. Uh, I started watching a bunch of art channels on YouTube. I kind of just stumbled onto the art side of YouTube. And I got really inspired by all the great channels I saw and all of the great art people were making to start doing this for myself so I can get better at art and also have some fun making some videos. Uh, so this first one I'm doing is uh, an Inktober drawing. Uh, I already did the sketch. It's of my uh, original character, Aelin. Uh, if you followed my Tumblr blog, bootyandartist.tumblr.com, uh, you might have seen a bit of him already. Uh, he was in a project I did last spring for my uh, After Effects class where I made a mock title sequence for a show that I hope to eventually make. Uh, it's fantasy with a bit of... It's inspired by high fantasy, but it's got a lot of um, apocryphal elements to it, uh, design-wise. Like, I'm, I'm really... Just... Uh, the general rule I've made design-wise is that it can't really have anything newer than, like, 1920. So you've got, like, a hodgepodge of stuff going on here. And I use this project as a chance to go in and update his uniform. Uh, so... His old uniform, which I'll be showing on screen here, uh, was okay, but kind of boring. Uh, I tried one design last May that had some cool elements, like I really liked the gas mask, uh, because Alan uh, has, can magically do fire, kind of, sort of like the human, it's like a cross between the human torch and firebending, but fire makes smoke, so I figured that would be a logical thing to have, especially if you're doing it a lot, which he does, because that's why he was hired by the military in this universe. So I gave him... Uh, that uniform had some cool elements, and then I realized that cloaks don't work well when your primary weapon is a bow staff. So I went back and redesigned his cloak and looked at a bunch of uh, 17th and 18th century military cloaks. This is mainly inspired by... Um, late 17th century uh, British and French officers' uniforms. Uh, I gave him a piped a beading along, or a piped embroidery around there, and you can see me going in and like uh, fixing the line width on, a bit, on it a bit, so it would pop a bit more. And his coat's the same basic design as my original. Um, it's just a bit fancier. It's got like an actual front flap now. Uh, doing the sketch was a lot of fun because, as I mentioned, this is my thing this Inktober has been redrawing old art. Um, mostly things from high school, but anything is fair game as long as it was drawn before October 2016. This one was drawn, uh, this drawing that it was based off of, I'll be showing here. And it's basically, it's okay, but there's parts of it I like, but I really want to do a redraw mostly to give it a more dynamic pose, and I'm really happy I did. I've gotten a lot better at draw, just with pen and ink in general since uh, the last time I drew. Just I've been working a lot with it lately, and I discovered line width is a thing, where if you change it, it looks much better. So, going in and like doing lot line width and stuff was great. Also, I've gotten much better recently with using like a brush. Um, I'm using a um, number two round watercolor brush. I don't remember what company it's from. I just randomly grabbed one that looked good at Jerry's Artorama one day. And I've gotten... It's like, I'd actually like to try lining a piece just with the brush sometime, but I, I don't have that confidence yet. This one was all lined with microns. But I'm getting better at it, like I didn't make any major mistakes with it. Really my one complaint about the number two brush pen is that it's very hard to fill large areas with it without it, like, like, without like the ink being spread unevenly. And part of it is probably my ink. I'm using uh, the Higgins uh, Magic Ink or whatever. I don't know, it's what they had at Michael's, and I had it was the only place I was able to go for art supplies when my last thing of ink spilled over. So that's what I used on this. I really don't like the Higgins ink. I, I, I find it really doesn't apply very evenly. I'm gonna have to go and get almost anything else. That being said, um, I do like... 
Uh, I mostly like how black it is. I was able... It's a bit streaky, which, um, yeah, you can kind of see it here in the shots where I'm not completely covering it in shadow, which I apologize for. This is my first speed paint video, and I don't have a tripod or a proper camera right now because I decided to do this for... This was like a last minute decision to start doing this, and my actual camera and tripod are at home! Three hour drive away, because I'm in college right now, so I'll have those after fall break and we'll have much better shot videos then, but for now this was with my laptop webcam, because that's what I had. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm not sure if it actually worked out well, but figured I'd ra since I want to make this a regular thing, I'd much rather force myself to have one kind of crappy video that gets me going rather than waiting for everything to be perfect. Oh, his boots were a lot of fun. I, I love doing his boots. I, I would if I was shooting this with a proper camera, I, I could have actually like zoomed in on them. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really see the detailing here, but uh, I gave it like a cross lace detailing that you'll be able to see later in the video when I show the finished piece. And I really like how it, the boots turned out just in general, like the life drawing class I've been taking this semester couldn't have hurt much either, to be honest. So I really, and also the one thing about filling areas with the number two round is that it is very good at going into smaller areas and doing detailing. Although now that I have white ink, which I just recently bought, I might go in and accent those out a bit more since there were a couple of areas where the brush went a little too far. Oh, or I could use my jelly roll, which I also have now. I didn't really realize until I shot this how much time I spend when I'm, like, drawing, just leaning back and thinking about what I'm gonna do next. on the back of his coat was a lot of fun to do because I wanted to give it the feeling of being like a lining. Um, so I did cross hatching kind of similar to what I did on my very first Inktober piece which was of Katie. Um, I'll have a link down the doobly-doo to uh, that post on my Tumblr. And I I started playing a lot with cross hatching on that one. Not everything worked out but I learned a lot and I ended up figuring out that you can get a lot of really nice texture by like cross hatching at different angles. So I tried that for the lining on his coat. He looks really nice. Like I'm really happy about that. really sure what else to say right now. And just going in and thickening some final lines, which I've started doing towards the end, just to like make little things pop. It's like, you know, especially on the hands and like a, on like the goggles and the gas mask on his face. Oh, and of course uh, the bow staff, can't forget about that. Racer time! It's the magic moment where hopefully everything looks good or you realize that you forgot to ink one area. Oh, and uh, that is my number six micron. Rest in peace. Okay, so here's the uh, final drawing. Much better shot because I went in and did this on my iPhone. You can really see a lot of the hatching here. Uh, so this is not the final, final piece. So I'll be doing a background later. But for now, that's all. And uh, hopefully, if you want to, you can subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll be trying to do this every week, definitely every two weeks. And see you later.